Google group is Gideon Hoffman and Hoffman. Gideon, Eric Hoffman. Hey. <laughs> hey. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I saw your stuff. Yes. I got your email. I saw you. I saw you. I saw what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, um, you know, um, I started, I've actually started this um, um, clothing brand um, back in 2005, but I, I, I didn't, you know, know the step-by-step -step process to um, set up, a, you know, an actual LLC or a corporation back then. So, right. well, I just honed my craft and um, I was able to get um, the whole thing um, legit. I, I, you know, made it into a legitimate <clears throat> excuse me, business, um, last year. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we, we went ahead and incorporated and, you know, followed the whole incorporating process and then, you know, went ahead, got done. So, you know, did the whole thing. <clears throat> so part of the reason why I want to get into the federal marketplace is the fact that, um, you know, uh, you know, the whole clothing, um, industry is so competitive. So, um, I just wanted to, you know, have something that will, you know, still be able to grow our business and as well, you know, be able to focus on the, you know, the other uh, commercial retail aspect of it too. Let me ask you something. Um, on the government space, what do you want to do? What area? Well, so I primarily want to focus on, um, you know, trying to, um, uh, um, sell, you know, all kinds of promotional items to the government. Um, I want to sell, of course, clothing. I want to sell them um, anything that's textile related. Um, you know, and, you know, I, I, I did all the homework, uh, on the GovCon, um, for dummies. I okay. did all the homework. Um, I actually want to be able to sell, you know, like you said, create 10, 20, um, things that you want to sell to the government. So, you know, besides what I want to sell them that's uh, based on my industry, I also want to sell them, you know, computers. I want to sell them pens. I want to sell them um, just any and everything that I think, you know, we could, you know, try to get our suppliers to fulfill and then be able to sell it to the federal government that way. So right now, I think if you already have suppliers in the clothing industry, man, I think that's that's a big market. I think I think okay. you can do very well, well in that in that industry right there. Yes, because yes. when I and, first and you got know, started, when I first got started, the government offered me a contract to make um, military like clothing, and it was like three hundred million dollars. Uh -huh. Oh wow! And I but I knew nothing about manufacturing or textiles or clothes. I knew nothing about that stuff. So I told him I was af I was afraid. I literally I was too afraid to even um, entertain it because I didn't know anything about that stuff. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. if I were you, um, yes. you know, if you've been working in that industry for ten years, man, I think um, that would be an easy transition for you. Okay. okay. What do you think? Yes. Uh, yes. Ab absolutely. Um, you know, I. I, I've been looking at some of the opportunities on SBO and also through a uh, Fed bid. And, I, you know, I get the impression it, it's very big. And, 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 you know, there's always, you know, all this bid match that is being sent my way. And, and I keep looking at all this stuff and I'm like, man, I, I really want to stick to this industry and, and pretty much concentrate all my efforts in that, in that industry, try to sell the government anything related uh, clothing related textiles and stuff like that well I, I think and, and I um, think your industry is big enough where you could do that I um you know I think your industry is big enough where you don't need to focus on computers or anything else I would stick with just clothing okay I mean I, All right. I um you know I would focus just primarily on uniform shirts you know clothes I mean pants things like that they that's uh that's a big that's that's a big time um nax code they're spending a lot of money on that stuff year in and year out i mean yeah. every agency is making shirts with their names on it every agency 
Right. You think about yes. it. You know, everyone's making, yes. you know, Army shirts, Navy shirts, uh, Navy T-shirts, Navy gym clothes, Navy sweatpants. You get me? And then they're the 42nd Battalion yeah. Army, 38th Battalion, 44th Division, blah, 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 blah. You know, so, I mean, that's that's every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, it, it's it's really, really big, like you, you're trying to indicate. Um and I see, I see the opportunities all the time, you know, based on the bid match that gets sent my way. I'll be honest with you. I like, I like the, uh, the promotional items. I like the shirts, the manufacturing. And you're the first person that I've spoken to um, that's doing that. And I think that, and like I said, I had oh. a personal experience with it. Um, and yeah. you're the first one I've, I've actually, you know, that I've, ha- I've heard – in my groups, in, in my contact uh, on YouTube and in my Facebook group and my subscribers, you're the first one that I've had that talked about doing oh, wow. manufacturing clothing. <laughs> um, I mean, I've had some other people talk about promotional items, but you're the first one for manufacturing yeah. um, clothing. And I, and I think that's definitely a niche that you can, uh, you can probably do pretty well in um, if, you, if, you, you know, if you go through the steps. I think you could do well in that area. Yes. I think so, definitely. Okay, so well, I've I've, I've got to be honest with you because um, the manufacturing aspect of it is it's not something that is huge on our end. We we do it on a we do it on a very small scale. No, no, so, I know. No, no, uh, I don't I'm expect look, you to make the yeah. clothes, but you right. understand the process. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. So no, I don't expect yes. you to manufacture it yourself. Okay. But I, but okay. you know yeah. how to source the manufacturing. You know how to source the people to do it, to put it together. You understand about yes. like the dye process. You understand, you know, five colors or three colors, right? Right. That's yep. people yep. people don't even know what we're talking about right now. <laughs> you follow me? That's not something that your friends know yes. about. Right. No, they don't. Of course they don't. So that leads me. That's what I'm saying. That leads I'm not me expecting into my you, neck. Yeah, I'm not expecting you to make the clothes. But you can, if I told you I need a price to make 10,000 t-shirts, um, you, you would have a series of questions for me about the t-shirts. Most people will be like, right. well, I don't know. Like, you know, you, you know what questions to ask to qualify the project and then you know where to go to source the it to be done. Right. Okay. Yes. And absolutely. that's all that's all that's what it takes. Okay. Cool. 